Like many others, I was also shocked to learn of uh, Shukri's untimely demise. But we will remember him because he was one of us. And despite passing away at such a young age of 28, I was told that he's been active for more than 10 years in trying to bring about social change. And that reminds me that it's more important how we live than how long we live. It's more important what we do with the years we have and how we contribute of our time and of our energies towards society and what kind of legacy we leave behind than how long we actually live physically, which no one knows and no one guarantees. So we will dedicate this evening to Shukri's memory and I'm sure we will remember him in other ways in the future. As usual, this is a time of free sharing. You can come and share your thoughts, you can come and sing a song, you can come and recite a poem. It's your place and your night, your space, all right? So anyone wants to come up and talk to us? Haris, would you like to come up? God's peace be with all of you. Um, I caught, I caught the, the words Kenapa Mati Baru Peduli and it, it really hit home, really hit home. Uh, this year we also lost a very good friend, um, Tony Kasset, you know, and um, when I got word that Tony had passed away, um, I sat back and she had been ill. She had been ill for, for, for a while, and I'd been meaning, I'd been meaning so many times to pull around at Brickfields to look into her and to see how she is, how she was. And I kept postponing. I kept postponing and I kept postponing because there seemed always to be something a little bit more important, a little bit more urgent that needed attending to. And this week, when I heard about Shukri passing on, I felt that same thing again that, um, sure, each time we met, each time I met him here, we exchanged a few words, um, but we didn't take time out to get to know each other. And that's, that's a great loss, I guess. And, and I, I, don't think, I don't think we want to let that happen with the rest of us. I think we want to take time out, we want to take time out, um, reach out. This is one of the great, great, joys that I've had since I started blogging in April last year. The opportunity to come out, opportunity to come out of cyberspace into the real world, real time, touch, hold hands, get to know, and, and begin to make a difference for each other. Now, um, I'm not going to hold this mic, there are others who have indicated they want to speak as well. I'm going to call a gentleman to come up and share a few words with us. This is what I meant about using cyberspace to reach out. Um, John Ku has just flown in from Australia. We touched base through the blogs um, and we started to exchange. And I think we, we were able to, to find love for one another from across the sea. So much so, he's flown in to share real time with us. John, could we have you up here, John? And I'm at Bangsa, Malaysia. How are we tonight? I feel very honored to be here tonight, and I want to thank the organizer, uh, Richard Yeo, and two towering Malaysians who will need no introduction Harris, Ibrahim, and RPK. You guys are instrumental of me being here tonight. And my gratitude to you, brothers. Okay, it's been a, a long time. As Harry said, my name is John. I am a foreigner. You would classify me as a banana. Yellow outside, white inside. I've been away for nearly 40 years. 
And tonight, I'm back here and I share this fellowship with you guys. I am what you would call an Orang Asing, not Achong. And most of my Bahasa has gone back to the Chegu already. But I still know enough that if you annoy me, you'll get some choice Bahasa from me. <laughs> okay. As I said, it's been a long time since I left this country. But it is my innate love for the country of my birth that I want to be here tonight with you guys. I cannot say that I really understand how you guys feel not to have the freedom of expression. Now, freedom of expression is something that is enshrined in the constitution of my adopted country. And it is also practiced. We don't talk about it, we actually practice it. Admittedly, there are laws, which, like you guys, as you know, responsible citizens, we abide by them. Okay? I can say, and you will pardon my French, hey you old bastard to a white fellow. And I'll get a handshake and a hug. Now I remember the days when I can say to my Malay friends, hey Chilaka, how are you, Apama Chang? Right? And instead of getting whacked, I will get a hug. Now I don't know what has happened. I'm still the same guy. I hope all those friends are still the same. I think it was Gandhi who said, be the change you want in the world. Let's bring it a little closer to home. Be the change you want in Malaysia. Now I want every one of you to turn to your right, turn to your left, introduce yourself to, to the person next to you, give them a hand, handshake, Give them a hug as if they are your long lost relative. Tonight, I don't see any race, I don't see any, co uh, any, any color. You are one Bangsa in Malaysia. <laughs> and I'm proud to be back here with you guys. Did I say? It's Lama Lama Lama. <laughs> 